that Chris was becoming more feminine, with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just <laughs> I mean, he does kind of look like a little bit of grandmother. Is is that offensive? I don't know. Gonna ignore Chris's nails. Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. The response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating how did Chris go from this to this, while others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. Now, this was pretty ridiculous as Carl isn't even that feminine, and Chris had come out as bisexual years before he and Carl had even met. The true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. Marriage. In January 2022, oh, okay. Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence wow, correlating okay. perfectly That's actually a little the bit very sad. first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023, reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Oh. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long nails. As the criticism <laughs> continued to pile, okay. Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. And while there was a possibility that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self, he'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image, showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this before making the announcement that he'd been doing HRT for approximately two months, which What's according to a quick Google search is the medical process for changing genders. Oh. Chris would expand on this by stating, informed consent HRT save my and many others lives. The hurdles GNC people have to jump through to get life-saving gender affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies, which received a positive response from both Carl and Mr. Beast, who wrote, got you, I did one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. While his co-workers expressed positivity, others weren't so welcoming. There goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak oh, men, and weak men create hard times. Oh, this phrase is using, being used like this? It doesn't mean that though. Huh. Interesting word using phrase. It, it, it's not the meaning. He's abusing the phrase. Times. Chris responded to this comment by stating, This is just more dog whistling that somehow trans and GNC folks aren't safe around kids. Tucker begs for me to come back when I leave for like two days to film. He is so loved and happy. Kids aren't born with hate, it's taught by people like you, and my child will only know love. I know I'm going to be a great parent, and so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was four times. Tucker. Chris's response received some positivity such as, I'm convinced you're an amazing father. Tucker is lucky to have you and also lucky to have all of those who surround and support you in his life. As well as, I adore that, I'm glad you made that decision. It's so much easier to be a parental figure when you're not struggling with dysphoria, yet he'd also receive an equal amount of backlash. You ripped apart your family and took a father figure away from your son just so you could paint your nails and act zesty. Pathetic. He will get torn apart at school, won't want to have friends around his house. A life full of difference and being alone. Must have missed the point in that tweet. How's this for him when you're depriving him of a father figure? Although Chris wasn't altered by these comments, as he'd once again reiterate his certainty in a new post reading, it's never too late to start being yourself, which received praise from Mr. Beast as well as Nolan and Carl. However, Aww. these comments also added extra fuel to the fire. In a few years, look back at this thread and remember they were never your friends. Only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. Mr. Beast responded to this with a simple opinion irrelevant ratio, to which the original commenter would state, I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest easy knowing that I'm not a coward who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys standing up for Chris on Twitter. However, the situation has already begun to change the dynamic within the videos. For example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way, and while everybody wow, I haven't seen as usual, the I didn't notice that. Feel nearly as as <laughs> Dude, I've been watching Mr. Beast's video, but I didn't notice he was like, you know, different.
Interesting. Am I that, like, really stupid? I don't know. Does. It felt as though there was an unaddressed it. in the room, and therefore everybody was in their head, as opposed to being in the present moment enjoying each other's company. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh, oh my god, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like oh. you. <laughs> Okay, his facial expression says a lot of things actually. It looks just like. I don't think he's happy about it, him saying that. Oh, yes. oh my god, At least. Jimmy. How did fan art. This is what we were looking for. <laughs> be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. Becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Hey, nice oh. shirt. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice. Shoes. For the most part, the live stream was devoid of awkward moments. However, it would act as fodder for another 100 million views worth of drama and criticism. Chris likely believes that people will slowly adapt to his new appearance over time, but is this really going to happen? Well, maybe. It's difficult to say as the situation is fairly unique, especially when considering Chris's reputation and influence. However, if Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which may him a successful member in the first place. Perhaps the opposite will happen and he'll instead pick up new personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. This was put forward in many comments supportive of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway, and if we've learned Definitely. anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over the top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. On top of this, it can be uncomfortable and unrelatable for the silent majority, although as we have seen, a situation like Chris's does have the potential to create an otherworldly amount of discussion, which could be seen as a benefit for the Mr. Beast brand. Drama is good for growth, 100%. That would be an easy way to up my so you're if a I got star it. The problem is this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract as he's forced to agree with Chris's position as he has no way of manipulating the situation without being painted as the bad guy. It's a lose-lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, cancelled. If he don't, his channel will die for real. An inescapable situation hmm. is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also why it deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express acceptance of Chris's transition, a silence or even worse disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, in accepting Chris's transition, Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings and may rather simply click on fewer Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option but to accept this fate, as removing Chris from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clear solution should things go south might be for Chris to resign himself and even then rumors and bad press will be unavoidable. Whether it be arrogance or ignorance, Fine. Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding this exact type of drama. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Ooh, I should have commented. I was, pr I catched it up pretty quick. Who's this guy? The fucking Heisenberg here. Interesting. It's too late to comment, right? It usually is too late to comment. You guys have a good comment idea which I can attract some viewers? <laughs> Scab run, let's go. Never. Hmm. I mean... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Keep moving forward. All right, let's just say that. I think that's a positive <laughs> thing to say. But I really want to say this part, though. Where was it? The guy who said... Where was it? Yeah, this part is so wrongly used. Hard times, like, there goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Okay, that's your opinion. But he's using this phrasing. 
and which is really so wrongly used. I wanna I wanna comment on that one. Him using phrase. Let me turn on some music for you guys at least. Where the hell did it go? I'm using phrase. Hard times create wrong and wrong and create good times. Good times create weak man. I mean, I totally agree with this phrasing, but him using it this way, I don't agree with it. And weak man create hard times is so wrong I just want to say that yep. ah interesting interesting very interesting drama even though you're, you guys are saying not drama but a lot of people are saying it's drama so I guess the majority of the people are thinking it's drama at least <laughs> 